Someone's asking, do you allow your tracking app to deduct the calories burned in calculating what you can consume? I mean, you all, you're gonna hear this a lot is we're gonna say that really depends on you and what you are looking for. Um, you know, obviously if you, maybe you are just getting started and exercise is something new that you are bringing into your life. In that case, you might find it very rewarding to count that, to count your exercise and subtract, or it winds up adding in to what you're able to consume, what you're able to eat for the day. Um, so maybe you kind of need that as like a boost for yourself. Um, maybe you've been doing this for a while and you're at a plateau, then maybe you don't want to count your exercise because then you're going to get better results faster. So it really is all about where are you right now? What are your goals? Honestly, so much of it is where, like, what is your mind able to handle right now? You know, if you're at a place where things are kind of calm in your life and you're just ready to focus on yourself, that might be a good time to not include the exercise. If you are barely hanging on, which is, seems like a place where I live a lot. You all, we are getting ready to move. We are putting our house on the market next week. And I was actually doing really well with my tracking. And then I was like, holy cow, life is just crazy. Our business is exploding. We're about to move. Um, a lot Planning of things. a trip to Hawaii. Yes. I mean, there's like a lot coming at me right now. And I know my limits. And so I realized, you know what? I cannot even focus on what I'm eating right now. So what I did was make a shift and I am doing one meal a day. So that is called OMAD, if you've not heard of that before. So I try to do my fasting in 23 hours. I eat within a one hour window. I eat honestly, whatever the heck I want during that one hour window, whatever is easy and convenient and sounds good. And then I don't eat again for 23 hours. So I might not do that long-term. I might just do that for a month to get me through and get me ready for Hawaii and help me to stay focused. But that's what we want you to know is these are all just tools to for you to utilize where you are in your life, what you mentally are able to, to handle and what your goals are. Yeah, I love that you mentioned what you mentally are able to handle because like having the mental space to focus on your diet on a different level mm -hmm. as far as tracking, like that that's gonna ebb and flow with your life, right? We have busier seasons, we have more stressful seasons. And so much of what we talk about both on this radio show, um, in our challenge, and we also offer group and personal coaching like is mindset mm -hmm. and kind of just first creating an awareness. Like for a lot of people, an example is the scale. For a lot of people, they like to use it. It's very motivating for them. And that's a great tool for them to use to stay on track. For other people, it can completely derail them if the scale doesn't move in what they perceive to be a positive direction. And so for those people, we're like, no, that is a tool that you need mm -hmm. to not use mm -hmm. at this season. Um, and so just like you're talking about, having that mental space and that awareness can I track right now? Should I track right now? Yes, and in the ideal world, it's great to plan, pre-plan all of your food, enter it into your tracker app or whatever you're using, stick to it, right? Right. I but, mean, that sounds amazing. And I actually was. I went probably two months where I was tracking every day, and then all this came at the same time, and I was like, bye-bye tracking. You know what I can focus on? Not eating for 23 hours. I got the mental space for that. It's so, But it, I couldn't have done that two years ago. The thought of not of doing that every day was like nowhere on my radar, but now I'm like, oh, this is an easy fix. This is a win. Um, so it just depends on where you are. Think about how you're feeling as you're doing something. When I was tracking, I wanted to gouge my eyes out. I was like, this is not working, right? But for two months, it was fine. Then when I switched to OMAD, I'm like, this is great. I only focus on eating for one hour a day. Like it just <laughs> felt right. If you're using the scale, when you weigh yourself, I mean, obviously we as women feel happier when the scale is where we want it to be. But how do you consistently feel using the scale? If it is controlling you, I would get rid of it. If it's getting in your head, get rid of it. If it's motivating you and helping you stay on track, weigh once a week, weigh once a day, weigh seven times a day. Whatever is working for you, there is not a, a cookie, cut, cookie cutter answer. It's what is working for you, what is helping you mentally, what is helping you physically. Can I just walk or do I need to join a gym and is yoga exercise? Okay. You want to start fitness instructor or do you want me to? Well, I can go forever. So I thought maybe you'd want to give your two cents. Okay. Here's my two cents. Um, and this is a lot what we talked about in the first half is finding what will fit for you. Um, so I have, you know, I have exercised consistently for many years and for me, swimming is what I know that I will do consistently. I swim at least twice a week. Um, it just helps my body to feel awesome. It really clears my mind. I get a, most of my best ideas 
come when I'm swimming. Like it's very freeing for me. So I love that. That's like a standard. I love to walk, but I'm a very slow, casual walker. Like it also clears my mind. Um, and I just now, because as I mentioned in the first part, I do have a big trip this summer. So I did start seeing a trainer just so that I could be as fit as I can um, before the trip. So for me, the answer is what is gonna fit well for you. And for me being the personality that I am, that's kind of intense, goes all the time. My mind is always racing and full. I need exercise that like calms me, you know? So I really like the swimming and the the walking. Have you tried yoga? I have only done yoga very briefly with Rebecca <laughs> uh, once or twice when we have been traveling together. I need to do it more. I need to yeah. do it more. Yoga is a great um, exercise for just about anyone because it's really gentle. Um, it can fit like a variety of fitness levels, ages, whatever. It doesn't require really any equipment. Um, so it, it's really great. You can build flexibility. You can build strength. You can work on balance. Um, which is super important, especially as we age. So to me, of course, I'm also a yoga instructor, <laughs> disclaimer. <laughs> but like, I think it's a great thing to add into your um, toolbox. Mm -hmm. um, but like to kind of jump on what Bridget said, yes, find what works for you. Like I have tried multiple times to get into spinning, which is indoor cycling. I hate it. Mm -hmm. I hate it. I know it can be great. I know people burn a lot of calories. I know a lot of people love it. I hate it. They play music. I want to dance. I don't want to be on a bike. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just not for me. And if I'm going to be on a bike, I want to be outside. I want to be in the sun. I want to go up and down hills. Not, like, tighten your resistance and pretend mm -hmm. there's a hill. I'm like, do I get to coast down the hill? Mm -hmm. Like, it's just not fun for me. But if it's fun for you, you'll do it, right? Like, so find what lights you up, what you enjoy. Like, Bridget really likes swimming. I don't want to swim because then my hair gets wet and I have to redo my makeup and, you know, you've got wet clothes. Like, it, to me, it's just a lot of trouble. But I don't need that kind of calming influence because I'm doing yoga. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, like, find what works for you. And like, I think dance is really fun. I love it. I mean, Bridget can attest to how much I love it. You all, she is a great dancer. When we go to events together um, with our company, we um, they have a lot of music that they play at the beginning, and it is like fun music. And I'm very intimidated to dance; like I'm not a Which good surprises dancer. Surprises me because yeah, you're so outgoing. It does. I don't know. It doesn't fit for me. But oh my goodness! I mean, I love to watch Rebecca dance. She's really good at it, and it's just like you can tell she's go going to her happy place, where I kind of go to my awkward place. Um, <laughs> And I never have the desire to like, oh, I just want to dance right now where Rebecca just feels it. And she and her husband love to go out dancing. Um, so it's all about what will you do. As far as joining a gym, one thing I do like about the gym, of course, I have to go to a gym to get a swimming pool um, to do laps. But I have tried multiple different classes to see like, would I like this? Is this a good fit for me? I have done a dancing class actually before one of our events. I was like, I got to learn how to dance. Like this is ridiculous. So I did do some dancing classes. Um, you know, I've done some kind of, I don't know, other type of like hybrid dance yoga classes. Um, so just one thing that's nice about the gym is it lets you explore and find where your happy place might be. Yeah, and try things that you think maybe you would like, but you're not sure. Mm -hmm. Like it's a great way to kind of try those on for size. Because something else that's really important about exercise is shaking it up. Like mm -hmm. just like you would need to kind of adjust your diet, it's good to shake up your exercise routine. So like maybe if you're a big yoga person, maybe throw in a bike ride on Saturday, mm -hmm. you know? Um, maybe go out and play basketball with your kids. It doesn't have to be a structured exercise class. It's just moving your body. Mm -hmm. um, our industrialized society, right, like so many things are automated for us, and we can go through a drive through and we put our dishes in the dishwasher, and we throw our clothes in the clothes washer. We don't do a lot of physical activity just to get through our daily life, so we do have to be a little more intentional about throwing mm -hmm. those in, but like, just go for a stroll. Like, adopt a dog that you have to walk mm -hmm. all the time, right? Like, it doesn't have to be this big, huge, like, thing. It's just moving your body. If you can move your body outside, extra bonus points because you get vitamin D, fresh air. Um, but shake it up, too. Don't just keep doing the same thing. I'm also a huge proponent, especially for women and especially as we get older, of weight-bearing exercises. So adding some weight resistance training um, into what you do can be very important. You want to preserve and protect that lean muscle mass. 